What's up people of the internet? It's Paris here with yet another video. In this video we'll be testing the Intel Celeron N2840 which is a CPU based on the silver mount architecture and part of the Patreon family of power efficient processors. It has 2 cores and 2 threads and it has a frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics page rail as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a frequency of up to 700 in H2 MHz in the N2840's case. It's also based on the Intel HD 4000's architecture, we're using the latest driver suite available. You also have 4GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a slow hard drive for the operating system and an external one on which the game is installed. As for operating system, we are using Windows X Lite Optimum 10 Pro version 2. All the specs are in the video description. The game that we'll be benchmarking today is Grid 2. Shout out to the same people who requested Dirt 2 and Free for requesting Grid 2 as well, and let's get straight to the points now.
Not gonna lie, I expected this game to be better optimized considering what we've seen from Codemasters so far. Still, I made a low end config for the game, I'll provide the download link for it in the pinned comment. We should give just a slight performance boost as there aren't that many things to modify in the config file. To use the low end config, first go to the config file location, which is documents, my games, glitch 2, hardware settings. There, in case you want to revert the changes later, I recommend backing up the hardware settings config.xml file, which is, well, the config file itself. Next, go back to the mod, and in it, go to one of its folders depending on what resolution you want to play the game at. For now, I will be sticking to 800x600. Then, extract the config from the mod to the game's config file folder, and replace the file. That's it! By the way, you can actually play Grid Show at even lower resolutions than 800x600, though you will have to play in windowed mode in that case. For this reason, I've also made a config file for 640x480, but in windowed mode only. Fun fact, in windowed, you can actually resize the game window to whatever size you want, which also changes the game's resolution. So if you want to do some epic low and experimenting with the resolution, well, it is 100% possible, but I won't be going any lower than 640x480. And guys, if you want to make it look kinda like full screen, you can always lower the desktop resolution to 640x480 by right clicking on your desktop and going to display settings. Then go to advanced display settings, display adapter properties, list all modes, choose the uppermost option which should hopefully be 640x480, finally click ok and then apply. And that's it, easy peasy. Oh, and you can also maximize the game window.